So watch my finger. Five. One less than 15. 40. One less than 14. 30. One more than 13. 40. One more than 14. 15. What was this number? Five. One more than five. Six. One more than six. Seven. One more than seven. Eight. One less than eight. Seven. Right. The objective for the oral mental starter for today's lesson is going to be to count on and back in different steps. Isabel, can you choose a new number? Three. Oh, it's time. Are you ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, twelve, thirteen. If we count back one, we get to twelve. going to change now from counting in steps of, what were we just counting in steps of? Ones. Ones. And we're going to try and count in tens. Do you think we can do it? I'm going to start here again and we're going to start with zero and we're going to count in tens. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Zero. Go. Let's see if we can do it slightly quicker. Are you ready? Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Well done. We're going to count backwards in tens now. So we're going back down the counting stick. So we will start this time with. Hundred. Are you ready? Hundred. Ten more than thirty. Ten less than forty. Ten less than thirty. Ten less than twenty. Ten less than ten. What number was this? Ten less than a hundred is. Ten less than ninety is. Ten more than eighty years. Ten more than ninety years. Well done. Fantastic counting. Right, do your maths brains feel warmed up now? So this morning we are learning to give one or ten more or less than a given number to hundred. But first. I want you to have a look at those numbers on the board. Let's just check we know what they are first. So can you say that number? Yeah. 11, 12, 13. Fantastic. And you've got two questions there. What's the same and what's different? I want you to turn to your talk partner. And I would like you to talk to your partners about what you notice. What's the same and what's different in those numbers? So it's going 11, 12, 13. You look at the 10, you look at 10, you look at 11, 12, 13. Do you know the one that you say is the same? Let's start with Logan. Tell me something you noticed about those numbers. The units is changing but the 10 isn't. Fantastic explanation, good boy. So if you look at those numbers, the units digit is the one that is changing. That's the second digit. But the tens are staying the same, aren't they? 
<gasps> Let's see if we notice anything else. Isabel, um, you tell me something you noticed. All the, all the numbers I've got, the ones that I ain't changing. Good girl. So they, they all start with a one, which means one, yes. ten, and they're staying the same, aren't they? Good girl. Did anyone notice what we're counting up in? Is there a pattern there that we're counting up in? Ones. Is she right? Yeah. For your next little challenge, have a look. See with your partner if you can find those numbers that you've just talked about on the 100 square. And I'm going to ask somebody to come and point to them. In the ones column, and uh, the twelve is in the twos column, and uh, uh, thirteen is in the threes column. Yeah. In the lead up to this lesson, already the children have looked at adding and subtracting two one-digit numbers using the number line as the model to support them. So we'd not really looked at using the hundred square before today. Shall we see if Emma's found them? Come on then, Emma. Let's have a look. Oh, 11, 12, 13. Who else found 11, 12 and 13? Oh, look. Thank you, Emma. Good girl. Right, let's have a little look. What can you tell me I have to do to get from 12 to the number 11 or the number 13? Logan? You have to jump forward or jump back. So if I jump forward, where am I going to land? On 13. Oh, let's have a look then. Are you watching? If I jump forward one, you're all right. I'm going to land on 13. What have I done to 12 when I've jumped forward one, Jude? Add one. I've added one. Good boy. All right, Logan said I could jump back as well. Where am I going to land if I jump back from 12? Yeah. <gasps> Is he right? Yeah. Good boy. So if I jump back one, what am I doing? Subtracting. Good girl. I'm subtracting one, going one less. I'm going to flip the page and we've got some more numbers now for you to have a little look at and talk about what you notice is the same and what you notice is different. Turn to your <coughs> tour partners again. Well, what's the same and what's different about those numbers? <laughs> Charmaine, can you tell me what you noticed about those numbers? The units don't change and ten digits changes. Good girl, well spotted. So this time, <coughs> it's the unit digit that isn't changing because the unit all says six. They've all got six units, haven't they? And Charmaine said the number that's changing this time is the yeah. tens. So the first digit is changing. Jamie, can you tell me what you noticed? It's been a uh, 666 six, six, and uh, that's the unit and the tens is going uh, uh, in ones and twos and threes. It is, isn't it? Good boy, so when we look at the tens, it's going one ten, two tens, three tens. Are we still counting in ones then? No. Oh. What are we counting in <coughs> now? What are we counting in now? Courtney. We're counting in tens. How did you know that? Because there's one on the first number and then two on the first next number, and then three on the first next number. Good girl. She knew we were counting in tens because she looked at that tens number and she knew that we started with one ten, and then we've got two tens, and then we've got three tens. Because if you just take, uh, because uh, 
Uh, the 36 is made out of 30. It is, isn't it? It's not really a 3. It's 30 um, and uh, 6. And a 20 is made out of... Uh, uh, and the 26 is made out of 20 and uh, the 16 is made out of 10. Good boy, thank you for explaining that, Jamie, you're right. So when we look at these numbers, 1, 2, 3, it's not really a 3, it's really 30. And the 2 isn't really a 2, it's a 20. 20. And that's not really a 1, it's, it's a, a 10. 10. They're just trying to hide because uh, the zero is behind uh, the uh, three sixes. Good boy. Your zero. To make them uh, 16, 26, 36. Fantastic, Jamie. You're right. The zero is hiding behind the sixes. You're right. Good. What I'd like you to do now, can you spot those numbers you've just talked about on the hundred square? Those go below and then below again. Yes, but it takes below 60 because it's after, it's after 2 and 3. Where are they? Can you see them? Right, can you sit down? So can you see whereabouts it is now? Because they would have a 2 at the beginning to find a 6 at the and it would be the next set, and then you would just go down and find it. So it's like a little column. Yeah, the one down to six, the one down to six, the one down to six. The one down to six. The one down to six. Yeah, the one down to two and six. Who thinks they've spotted them? Good girl, well done. The children were able to find the numbers I wanted them to find on the 100 square. So in terms of understanding the position of the numbers, I think they did quite well. Our next steps are to continue to develop the 100 square in using it to add and subtract or to support them in addition and subtraction.